Virgo, hi. So this is going to be a reading for November 7th through the 13th. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your current energies, and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended. At the end of the video, you can check out all the info about that in the description box below if you want. <clears throat> Let's see, Virgo. What's going on? For you. All right, the overall energy for the reading, the Knight of Swords. Um, you're going somewhere. <laughs> Very determined. There's definitely an energy that's moving you forward. And I kind of like it because there's a lot of determination in there. Kind of like, I have a goal. I'm going for it. I don't know what that is. I don't even know if you know. It's just the energy that's moving in a particular direction. It's very determined. In the recent past, the chariot, the page of cups, the six of wands. Okay, there's energy moving here of love and it's feeling good. And I feel like you're moving towards it. It is meeting you halfway though. It, it, it's a good energy. And it does come with love. I don't know if it's a romantic situation, though. We'll, we'll have to see. But uh, in the current situation, the Three of Swords, the Nine of Cups, the Temperance card. You're, you're looking pretty balanced. You have been pretty balanced for a while. It took a lot for you to get into the centered place, emotional balanced place that you found within. But I feel like you've been working on it. Possibly not even consciously. I don't even know how the hell you got here, but you got here. Doesn't even matter how. <clears throat> and I know it's here for a good mind. It's like, no, no, no. How did I get there? Doesn't matter. Um, there is some pain, though, attached to this process of bringing you into, into center, though. Hmm. In the immediate future, the emperor, the empress, the nine of swords. A little bit of stressing out about the situation. There's you, there's another energy attached to you, there's a two of you right there, kind of a perfect match there, but there's something worrisome about the situation, and I don't know what it is, but let's clarify. Let's see what's up. <clears throat> For the Knight of Swords, you get the Six of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords no freaking clue what this is but it's feeling so goddamn good because you're you're i just see you going in a direction with purpose and it's feeling good for you and you're in charge of this energy you make it happen you bring it to life basically i like how the knight of pentacles shows up in there kind of like whoa slow down um <clears throat> There is, there are two energies here that, again, are meeting halfway, so whatever it is you're doing, you're not doing it by yourself. There's another energy right alongside with you. Let's do the chariot in the recent past. The magician, the two of wands, the emperor. I'm trying to figure out where the hell this Virgo came from. Um... Because it's a good one. It's a, it's a, whoa, what the hell happened? Um, manifesting like crazy. Yeah, you had to wait a little bit. It, it didn't, whatever this was that came together, it didn't form just like that. There's a little bit of waiting involved. But your manifestation is to the roof here it's 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 crazy how it it's kind of like you're thinking it poof, it happens just like that um i don't know i don't know there's a sense of you stepping into your power like crazy and just manifesting from there kind of like this wizard with all powers kind of thing i don't even know what the hell is going on there it's good it's good though Let's do the Six of Wands in the recent past. Knight of Cups, Five of Wands, King of Swords. 
yeah, some bickering here and there, but nothing worrisome. Where I see, <clears throat> it's kind of shown me so far this reading, a sense of you see something, you want it, you go get it. You make it happen, kind of a thing. You know, that's all I'm seeing here. A lot of that going on. When you have a clear mind, when you have a clear goal, you go for it, it's yours. I don't know how the hell you do it, but, and even if there is conflict along the way, doesn't matter. Cool. Um, and you make it happen chop, chop, and that that's my predicament here, because, I mean, you're a Virgo, I know how you function, and I know you're not the slowest uh, out of everybody, but you are slow, you know, you, you do need your time, you do need your pace. But this is kind of like chop chop um, in terms of when you put your mind to something, it goes like that, like chop chop. It, it doesn't even matter if you're a Virgo, if you're slow, if you're a nurse, it doesn't matter. Okay. I love that energy. I'm just not used to it on you. You were it good. <laughs> Uh, let's do the Three of Swords in the current situation. Whew. The Lovers, the Sun, the Queen of Cups. There is there is love here. There is a connection that's shown up, tied up to you. It's beautiful, full of happiness, full of love. There's also pain on top of it. And I don't know where that pain is coming from. I have no idea. But it is a beautiful energy overall. Uh, let's do the Nine of Cups. The Three of Wands, the Eight of Wands, the Nine of Pentacles. There's a little bit of separation here from this connection. It almost looks like you're attached to this connection from a soul perspective, but um, there's something that creates a little bit of divide, a little bit of you are in that corner, they're in that corner. You're still energetically at least there, but there's a separation somehow between the two of you. Um, <clears throat> it's something someone said, something someone did possibly that created this space. I don't see it as a breakup necessarily, even though it could translate into that. I see it more as an up in the air kind of a situation based on someone that said something or did something. And it created this gap. It brought this gap, it left it there, and that's that. I don't know what happened. Um, meanwhile, but the gap is still there, you know? Let's do the Temperance card. <clears throat> Page of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, Ten of Cups. That's unbelievable, that's crazy. Something changed, something switched within you um it's not a bad thing it's actually leading you to way better things for yourself and something as uh, when something switched within you something switched within the situation you're dealing with here it, it almost looks different it almost looks like you're looking at it and you're like huh is this my life really it didn't look like that a while ago, you know? It, it kind of looks like that. At the same time, it's kind of normal when you look at it. It's kind of like, it's a given. It has to be like this, kind of a thing. Oh, man, this is a funky energy. I, I love it, but I, I don't know how you're perceiving this. And if you're experiencing this, because, I mean, these are available energies. I don't know if you're stepping up into them, but, man... Okay, let's do the Emperor in the immediate future. And it is tied up to somebody else, too. Uh, Queen of Wands, the Strength card, the Seven of Cups. You're looking at choices here. You're looking at ways, options to deal with something. Um... I don't know with what, 
I don't see you necessarily kind of trying to move on from a situation, uh, but I do see you looking at several options to deal with the situation you're um, having to deal with, tied up to another person. Let's do the Empress. The Hermit, the Queen of Swords, the Temperance card. They're there too. You, you have very similar energies and very similar goals when it comes to this. This is an amazing reading. I'm not seeing... I see this flow of energy like crazy here for you. In terms of, I don't see any... Well, the Nine of Swords here, which we'll get to in a minute. Um, I don't see any interference from the mind. The mind comes in as being very clear. And you're not your usual self where I see you most of the times kind of questioning things like, oh. So something switched in that department where you're not as stuck in your head as you would normally be. Um, and that's when we break the normal, the norm, basically. Which is quite amazing. I see you flowing on these energies, very deep energies that are coming through. Let's see the Nine of Swords in the immediate future. <clears throat> yeah, like no more, no, no more, none of that anymore. You know, even when it does show up as, oh, I'm worried about this or that or the other, or the mind is trying to, um, you're kind of looking, you're showing me a sense of, you know what, that did nothing for me. If anything, it got me into trouble. So why the hell do that? I'm not going to do that anymore. And you're just kind of just, who the hell are you? It's it's like Virgo. What the hell happened? You're you're stepping into the full energy that that, you know, when you're sitting at the edge of a cliff and instead of, um, I wonder how tall it. Like, will I break my neck or will I, like, what if? Oh man, what if the the wind kind of nah? You're just kind of like, where's that cliff? Oh, over there. Let's go. What? What do you mean? Let's go. You're not gonna question. Let's go. You know, you're you're stepping into something quite nice here. Now, I don't know how long that's going to last. I hope forever because it's a beautiful energy. But, um, I don't know. It, it, this reading kind of... You are signs today give me readings that I don't expect. Like, what the hell is going on? And not in a bad way. Like, oh my God. Worrisome. Quite the opposite. Okay, let's see what the universe has then. There is this wave of energy that's going through the earth signs like no tomorrow. I hope you're freaking hanging on to it. I hope you're grabbing it and going with it. Because it's amazing. From the universe, you get the king of swords, the two of wands, the eight of swords. There you are. There you are in your head. Because you do have clarity. Um... But if enough time passes and nothing happens within that clarity, you start to get worried worried about it. So the universe is kind of like, yeah, you know, they're still doing it, but not to the extent of, okay, it's taking over this energy. Of, let's overthink things. Um, it almost looks like if you're given enough time to think about things, you start thinking a little too deep, a little too much. Uh, but you are starting from a point of clarity, which I see it starting from here. And then God forbid... You have too much time on your hands, you know, because that's when you start blah, 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 in there. Um, but overall, I feel like you you kind of got it down. Even if you do start to overthink things, I feel like you're recognizing it and then you're allowing the energies to flow. Like overall, whatever it is you're dealing with here, and I do see a situation tied up to another person, it's flowing in a pretty good direction, you know. So I get the sense that that energy is the one that's taking over rather than the one of questioning things all the time. Even if it happens here and there, you know. Cool. Well, that's it. That's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time.